Hello everyone and welcome back. Oreos. Anybody have any ideas of what we're going to make? I have my grandson who's a little under the weather. I've been sick for like a week. Ugh. So what do you do to cheer somebody up? Make some fried Oreos. If you also have never been to any of the shore points, you might not get down there that often. This is a great thing. This actually is a recipe from somebody off of the boardwalk that makes the fried Oreos. That is what we're going to attempt to do on the channel. So let's discuss the ingredients. I will give you the recipe. Um, okay, one cup of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need two tablespoons of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt. You're only gonna need one egg and it's either going to be three fourth cups of milk or possibly one cup if your batter's a little too thick. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, your Oreos, your frying oil, which I have mine in my Dutch oven pot over there heating up and some powdered sugar to top them off. So in this bowl right here, what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna whisk together the flour, the sugar, the egg, the salt, the baking powder, the milk, and the vanilla until it's smooth. So that's pretty easy. And then you're just gonna set it off to the side for a few minutes. You wanna give it a minute to rest uh, while the oil preheats, which we're almost there with the oil. And um, I'm only gonna put a few of the cookies inside the oil at a time I'm using a metal spoon. So, are we ready? I'm gonna do Okay, so then I'm gonna do the vanilla. So, that's the only thing that I didn't put out already is my vanilla. And just two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So, and I'm gonna put that in now. Two teaspoons. Please use real vanilla. One. And two. I recommend a Dutch oven because it's a bottom heavy. So, okay. Now we're going to put in everything else. There's the flour, baking powder. So make sure you get it all out. Yeah, I think this is awesome if you don't get to go to the shore all the time. Your sugar. salt, your one egg, and then we're going to be adding the milk. Let's double check to make sure that I had my baking powder, and I did. And now I'm only going to do, because I filled this up to one cup, but we're only going to do three fourths, unless it's too thick, and then it's too thick, which I actually happen to like my other whisk a little bit better. So just dump it all in a bowl. You want to give it a good mixing. You don't want it too thick. You don't want it lumpy. Almost like funnel cake. I'm trying to see the consistency. She wanted to be able to coat the cookie. I might do a little bit more milk just to say. And that should be the three fourths. And that literally is the batter. So it's really recommended to let the batter sit for a few minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll bring you back as soon as we start dipping the Oreos. Okay, so I only just wanted to test my oil just to see how it was doing. Um, this really does need to sit just a little bit longer so that the coating gets thicker. But it's as simple as that. Of course, you'll get some extra little pieces in here that you can always just pick off and throw away. But you wanna let your cookie get brown on each side. So I'm not making a ton 
for me and Gavin. But I'm going to make a few. And I'll show you what it's like. Like I said, I wanted to test the oil out. Um, so let me get a paper plate. I'm going to put some paper towels on it. I didn't want the oil to be too hot. Really be careful of how hot your oil is because you don't want it to burn. Flip it. And we are going to take this one out and set it on a lined paper plate just like that. And we're going to dip some more. And let's keep going. Okay. You could probably do like three or four at a time in that pot. You don't want to bring the temperature down too much. But if you can see this, just drop them in, flip them over, and just make sure they're fully covered with the batter. I should be letting this sit a few minutes longer, the batter. It gives it a little bit more puffiness, but I don't want to make an extremely long video for you guys. I just want to show you how to make some boardwalk style um, deep fried Oreos. As I get brown, flip it over. So my oil is at a pretty good temperature. You just really have to watch and be careful. I mean, how easy is this? So if you've never been to like Wildwood or anywhere down the shore, you can make your own at home. This is absolutely perfect. You want them to blow up and look that color. So you want to make sure uh, it's about two, three minutes on each side. You can reuse your oil. You can make a bunch of these. I'm not going to make a ton. I'm going to make a few for Gavin and I. Just to give you guys an idea what they look like. And then I am going to drop a few more in. Probably should be using a different spoon. So why I go to put the next batch in, just trying to make sure they're covered. I really do suggest and you let the batter sit for like 10 minutes because it gets a little bit more fluffier. And just be careful around hot oil. This is why I picked my Dutch oven pot. So yeah, Gavin and I spoke about making Oreos a few weeks back, but I don't know, there's just something going around. I've been sick. He has a fierce cough, and plus I didn't have him for a week or two, so my little buddy is behind the camera because he really wanted my mom to cheer him up with some fried Oreos. So after this comes out, we are going to put confectionery sugar. So let me get the confectionery sugar. I got the little bits in here. You can recycle this oil and make more. It's, it's just a batter crumbs.
We also have batter on the spoon, so. And that is it. Literally took just a couple seconds to fry up some Oreos. So, what you're gonna wanna do next, let me turn this oil off. I'm really looking for my little sprinkler for my powdered sugar. Okay, normally I would use my little sifter to put the powdered sugar on. But of course, I don't know where it is, but it doesn't matter. Because you just can grab some powdered sugar. You have to have powdered sugar on them. Because that's what really makes them. And it's a treat. You don't have to have these all the time, but like I said, if you don't get to the shore that often, they're amazing. So, it's not on a fancy plate or anything, guys. It's just a quick batch of deep fried Oreos from the boardwalk. So, I'm going to take this. And are you ready to try one, Gav? Gav's a little under the weather. Let me back up. Turn it around to the powdered side. It's hot. Okay, well, you can take a little nibble and let us see the middle. Does it melt it? Look at the gooiness of that fried Oreo. Looks amazing. Is it good? Is it all melted? <laughs> Is that a plus? Yes. Okay, that'll make them feel better. There you go, guys. Just some fried Oreos. Um, get yourself a pack of Oreo cookies. We were thinking about doing the double stuff. I thought maybe it would be too much. How about I try one first? Let's see. Mm-hmm. We're good. Amazing. Tastes delish. Okay. So... I'll give you the recipe one more time. I'll say it out loud. And then I will try to remember to put it down in the description below. So, you can use a pack of Oreos like this. We were almost going to use the double stuffed Oreos. Did I turn the oil off? Yes, I did. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, I guess you could try the double stuffed Oreos. I just wanted regular Oreos. So, we used regular Oreos. And, um... Very easy recipe. One cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one egg, three fourth cups of milk. Um, if your batter is a little bit thick, you can make it one cup of milk. And then two teaspoons of vanilla, your Oreos, your frying oil, and your powdered sugar. Mix it all in the bowl like I already showed you. I'm just going to dip the Oreos in the batter and then fry them for about a minute on each side or until golden brown. Golden brown. And these are pretty golden brown. And I'm going to show you the inside of that. See how it's all melted, gooey, gooey? There you have it, guys. Um, we're just hanging out. Feeling a little sick under the weather. You can not tell. I look terrible. Um, and decided to make some fried Oreos to cheer ourselves up. So I hope that you like this recipe. You may have everything, all the ingredients on hand at home. Um, kids will probably love it. And like I said, if you're not near the shore, uh, Wildwood for me is two hours away. I don't get to the shore a whole lot, even though I'm not that far from it. But if you're in another state, this is the best thing besides a funnel cake that they serve on the boardwalk. I highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Give it a try. If you do, leave a comment down below. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you to all the subscribers. Smash the like button. We'll see you on the next video.